Hello everybody, this is Mr. Shaban. Today we're going to start uh, Unit 3, which is separation technique. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to know what uh, is a mixture, solution, and solvent along with solute. And then we're going to, to, to talk about different ways in which we can use to separate these mixtures. Let's begin first with the word mixture. Mixture is a word that describes uh, a mixture of uh, more than one substance in one place. So a mixture contain more than one substance. The substances are just mixed together and the most important thing for the mixture that they should not be chemically combined. So a mixture cannot com cannot be chemically combined. If it's chemically combined then we're talking about a compound not a mixture. So a mixture contain more than one substance. The substances are just mixed together and not chemically combined. For example, air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases, as we have taken earlier in chapter one. So what's the meaning of the word solution? Solution is homogeneous mixture. So it's homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Let's see an example. When you mix sugar with water, then the sugar disappears in the water. That's what we call homogeneous. So they act as one thing. Uh, disappear in the water. And this is uh, what we call a solution, sugary solution. So a solution is, co is consisting of two things. The first one is called solute. The second thing is called solvent. So solute is the solid which dissolve inside the liquid and in our example is the sugar while solvent is the liquid that dissolve the solute so again solute plus solvent equals solution solute is the solid dissolved in the liquid solvent is the liquid which dissolves the solid okay let's see our hand uh, a soluble solid usually gets more soluble as the temperature rises and that's why you can find a cold tea take less sugar than a hot cup of tea if you're going to dissolve uh, sugar in a cold water you might dissolve th two three te uh, teaspoons of sugar while on the other hand when you dissolve uh, a sugar in a warm cup of tea you're going to notice that it can accommodate more sugar that's because the particles of the water will vibrate more will move faster and the spaces between the particles is going to increase which is going to uh, leave a larger room for the solid to be inside these particles. A solution is called saturated when it can dissolve no more solute at the temperature. So as the temperature increases it can reach to a, a certain uh, degree where the solute cannot be dissolved inside the solvent. When you have a solution where it cannot dissolve more solid, cannot dissolve more sugar, we call it a saturated solution. A solution is water, uh, sorry, a solution is water is called uh, aqueous solution. So if you have uh, a solution which is uh, water based or the solvent is water, then we call it aqueous solution because you're going to find the word aqueous a lot in the chemical reaction or it can be written as AQ, uh, AQUE uh, or AQUA. Okay, let's double check over here. We have different kind of solvent apart from water. We have ethanol, we have propanol, and these can be used as organic solvent to dissolve organic compounds. So uh, these can dissolve uh, glues, printing inks, and scents or perfumes. And sometimes it can... Uh, you know dissolve amino acids as we're going to take later on so we have different methods of uh, separating separating the mixtures we, we're going to go through filtration crystallization evaporation simple distillation fractional distillation along with paper chromatography so basically each way is used to separate a certain kind of mixture as an example filtration is used to separate the solid from a liquid but here the solid should be undissolved so the solid should not dissolve in the liquid in order to be separated by filtration 
crystallization here you are separating a solute from its solution so solute it means that the solid dissolved already so over here we separate dissolved solid over here we separate undissolved solid evaporation also we separate a solute from its solution so it's dissolved solid uh, simple distillation we separate a solvent from a solution so our aim is to separate solvent this time we are looking for the liquid and fractional distillation over here we separate liquids from each other if we have a mixture of liquid and this is going to be based on the boiling point we're going to heat them up until we reach to certain boiling points to separate them from each other and at the end we have uh, chromatography in chromatography we tend to separate uh, solids that are dissolved in one solvent let's first discuss the first way which is separating a solid from a liquid we have a method called filtration let's double check and we'll see uh, what is the filtration and how can we do the filtration and how can we get a pure substance out of the filtration see we're going to make uh, this apparatus we'll make this set we have a stand okay we have uh, the holder that's going to hold the funnel okay this is called funnel inside the funnel we place a filter paper and this is the mixture we have glass rod we have a beaker so what we're going to do is after placing the filter paper we're going to pour the mixture filter paper is a paper that contain a tiny holes these tiny holes are very 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 small they cannot let solids to go through if the solid is undissolved if the solid is large enough it will not go through while the liquid will go through these holes because liquid is smaller than these holes so it's going to go through the filter paper easily not only that but also filter paper cannot block the dissolved solids so if you have salty water mixed with sand and you pour this mixture on top of the filter paper the salty water which is salt and water will go through the filter paper and the sand will stuck at the filter paper okay so uh, when we pour the mixture only the particles that are smaller than the filter paper holes are going to uh, go through while the particles which are larger than the filter paper holes are going to be blocked on top and this will be called residue so the solid that is removed by filtration will be called residue and whatever goes through the filter paper will be called filtrate will be called filtrate so this process uh, is used to separate undissolved solid for example sand is insoluble in water so it's easy to separate by filtering the sand is trapped in the filter paper while the water passes through and I told you if you have a salt which dissolves in the water will go through as well the trapped solid is called residue and the water is the filtrate so we have a hint over here a saturated solution can hold no more solute at the temperature we have discussed that earlier uh, to separate solids from liquids we undissolved solids we have also decanting decanting uh, it takes place when you have like well imagine that this is a mixture uh, that has uh, this is a mixture that has solid undissolved solid and liquid we'll imagine that uh, here we have undissolved solid decanting we pour the beaker we pour the liquid on top of the solid so decanting means carefully pouring the liquid in another container and leaving the leaving the salt behind so you're going to leave it behind and this is not accurate uh, process we use it when you have a uh, mixture and you don't want to have uh, a pure result so it's a casual process it's not 100 percent accurate this method is suitable for separating sus suspension undissolved solid for example sand rocks from water uh, the third way in separating solids from uh, liquids is by centrifuging centrifuging is like uh, what they are doing in the blood uh, analysis 
they put the blood in a machine that moves with a high speed when it moves with a high speed the blood will be separated into layers the undissolved cells are going to be in, in one layer and the plasma will be in another layer that's centrifusion so centrifusion the mixture is spun at high speed in centrifuge which is the device that i told you about this causes the solid to be deposited at the bottom of the centrifuge tube so solid will be down and the liquid will be up you can take it away from the solid by the help of decanting so these processes that you can use in order to separate the solid from liquid we go from filtration decanting and centrifusion so the first uh, part checked which is uh, filtration decanting and centrifusion to remove the solid from liquid in today's lesson we have discussed the following we have taken the difference between uh, mixture and solution we said mixture when you put more than one substance together and these should not be chemically combined and we said solution is a homogeneous mixture means it looks like one unit and uh, as an example for solution sugar in water and we said solute is the sugar solvent is the water and they are making up one solution and we have spoken about the saturated solution we said saturated solution is a solution that cannot dissolve more uh, solid at a higher temperature and as we said when we increase the temperature the amount of solid that dissolve in a liquid will increase until it reaches to a certain point which we call it a saturated solution and we have spoken about the different solvents like ethanol and propanol and we have expressed uh, the means of separation technique and we have discussed the first one which is separating the solid from liquid. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and see you next time.